I am so looking forward to this. <laughs> Good evening and welcome back to Super Mario 64. Um, yeah. Before the 100 coin stars though, we have got the rest of TikTok clock and uh, all of Rainbow Ride to sort out. So, you know, all my least favourite bits of the game. Uh, you know what? The star I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make the clock go fast. I don't know which one Pins and Pendulums is, but I'm going for the one where you ride on the back clock hand. Like about halfway up the level, if if that. So it'll be slightly quicker if I do it on the faster speed. Uh. Oh! Okay, you know what? I'll do it on the slower speed so I can actually get up there. <laughs> uh, I forgot how bad I am. And, uh, Rainbow Ride. I really don't like Rainbow Ride at all. Yeah. Just think, if there was platforms or a team like that in, like, a Sonic game, I'd have no problem whatsoever. But apparently I'm just really bad at, at uh, Mario games compared to Sonic. <laughs> yeah, just, just before, just as the, um, I hope that's close enough to three. Just before the um, stream, like during the um, pre-stream ad, I uh, went down the slide quickly just to grab a couple of 1-ups. Um, you know, I've already blown through two out of the three one-ups I got there. Maybe <laughs> you won't need I'm going to pad the time. Uh. Why do you think I just I wanted to start nice and early today? <laughs> I can't even just stand here because otherwise I get hit by this thing. This is why I wanted to do it on the faster one, but my jumping skills are apparently too bad. Um... Once I'm on here, I'm safe. <laughs> So, uh, as uh, you might recall, Ben, uh, from the stream chat yesterday, and yeah, the rest of my family is uh, quite ill right now, and I, I fear that I'm starting to uh, get some of the symptoms, so I'm hoping that I'm going to be okay for Tuesday, but I'm, I'm going to persevere regardless, I think, unless I'm, like, actually dying. Um, yeah. My, my sinuses are doing the thing that they normally do when I'm, like, about to be ill. <laughs> Here we go. Like, it's like, it's like, my sinuses always kind of, like, feel a certain way when I'm about to be ill. Um, and they're doing that right now, so... Anyway, parents have... Quite frankly, <laughs> sounded terrible for the past couple of days. Like they sounded really ill. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah. So I can always tell that I'm about to be ill, <laughs> but I'm also kind of hoping that it, maybe it's like a reverse, like reverse placebo, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where like because you know, the rest of my family is ill and I'm worried about getting ill, maybe my body's, like, <laughs> giving me illness symptoms for some reason because bodies are weird. I actually don't remember which one the pit and the pendulums is, so I'm just going to go in a direction. <laughs> Ooh, one up. Yes, please. <laughs> 
Maybe it's this one here? Ah, uh, Pen Bendon is probably this one here. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was a bit of an awkward perspective game. You know, I'm not quite sure how I managed... Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, okay, I slightly know how I managed to get the 100 coin stars in 64 DS as a kid, but... Like... Yeah, it's like... Sometimes I do kind of wonder <laughs> how I did that. But I know that TikTok Clock in particular was made easier on DS. I didn't realise there was a gap there. Jumps on moving bars. Mm. Not one hundred percent sure which one this one is either. Uh, part of me wants to like do like a wall jump like skip these cubes, I also fear that I would go too far and just fall off instead. Come on, Mario. I <laughs> mean, doesn't narrow it down, it's all moving. Yeah. At least some uh, Mario 64 ROM hacks do like the thing that later Mario games do, where they like have a little um, fly over the course, like related to the star that you pick. I don't know if anyone's ever like done that for um, like the base game, like made a mod for the, like a hack or mod for the base game that does that. Well, given that that way only led to that star, I'm guessing I need to come this way. Oh, it's probably that. Okay. Also, after the last stream, I had a little play around with my with my Wii U, and I think the uh, things I'm ha the weirdness I'm having on my gamepad is down to uh, is down to just Wi-Fi interference <laughs> between you from my laptop or something to the gamepad because like I moved my laptop aside and played a bit more. After last stream! Okay. Um, at least I know if I fall there, it's safe. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh. Mamma mia. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can if it's possible to do that with the time stopped. Because... <laughs> ugh. <laughs> I know they call it time jumps on moving bars, but... It's possible with the time stopped. Mario, you didn't jump very high there. Mostly the Wi-Fi interference has just been making it so that the video streaming to the gamepad's been a bit iffy, but I think it has dropped some inputs for me over the course of this playthrough. Because, <laughs> like, there have been times where, like, I've like, gotten double inputs or missed inputs, and I reckon it's due to the <laughs> interference. As long as I get back up here, I'm not losing any lives. So, that's fine. Alright. The 
bars are out. I guess it's not these bars. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't those bars. Mia. Uh, just so I'm not wasting too much time. Jumps. Which, which, which are the, what are the moving bars? Where's the Mario wiki? There we go. Oh, it's that one, okay. I probably do have to have it moving then. Ugh. I know which bit that is. Can't fully remember how to get there, but I know which bit it is. So that's fine. I mean, at least I got a one up from it, so. Yeah. I may have been misdirected, but, you know, I wasn't in front of it. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, up we go. Grab the one up. Thank you. Camera angle for this jump is awful. <laughs> the camera angle for that jump is terrible. Right. Where's this one here? This one's gonna be red. Oh, if it, if I've got five already. The last one's gonna be red coins. I think for Rainbow Ride and TikTok Clock, I'm gonna try and do the red, the hundred coins with the red coins, just so I don't have to redo them, like I will for the other ones. So. Oh well, that coin's gone. You know what? Uh, no, I'll get the coins now. Because they're lower down. Excuse me, game. Excuse me, game. Misled by the shadow there. It'd probably be easier to climb up and then fall down for these coins. <laughs> Didn't have to deal with weird jumps. Nah. Problem is the blue coin switch is like right up. Well, not right at the top, but it's fairly high up. A quarter of the way there. Let's hope I don't accidentally fall into the red coin star. <laughs> Let's go back down. I'm gonna start meticulously getting these coins, eh? It's not going to be so bad in some of the other levels. Like, Bomb Battlefield is going to be easy because it's the first level. Um, Big Blue's Horn is going to be really easy. Because of all the, because all the booze give you blue coins. 
it's mainly this and Rainbow Ride that I'm not that I'm really not looking forward to for the hundred coins. I know with Tortoise Mountain you need to do the slide first. Because if the star spawns in the slide and you go back in the slide, the star despawns because <laughs> you've like gone from because you've like unloaded it. Uh oh, Ooh, that was nice. Having the time stopped, like, obviously, might cause a couple of problems, but and I feel like I feel like I'd rather. Oh, you! I'd rather deal with those problems rather than the problems of trying to do the platforming with the moving block, with the moving everything. These coins are going to be a bit precarious, because that thing, which absolutely terrifies me, is the prospect of it just chucking you off the stage. If I walk slowly, will it notice me? Yes it will! Ugh. Oh! Please don't throw me away! Also, coins will despawn. Too risky. Um, were there many coins this way? I can't remember. Oh yeah, no, yeah, this is pit and penny rooms. This is where the blue coins spawn. I should have. What I should have done last time was check where the blue coins spawn so that I have a plan of action. As it stands right now, I don't know where they spawn. Okay, there. Okay. Up to 80. Oh, that's a terrible camera angle! <sighs> right, 20 more to go. Right, this is going to be the interesting part. At least here it's kind of a safe-ish landing spot, and there's the heart, so I can replenish any health I lose. Not really what I wanted to do, I wanted to backflip. Oh, bye. There's just a one up over there. Were there any coins over here? I don't think there were. No. Uh, it's got to be coins, surely. Oh, good. Don't know where they went. They're gonna despawn by the time they go down, aren't they? Thanks for that game. room to move here. <laughs> Almost like this isn't how you really designed meant to do that bit. Right, please be coins here. Okay, 91. Okay, we're getting close. 
when I was doing a little bit of research um, over the last few days for this star, I was sort of kind of going online, sort of seeing if there was any like guidance or anything, and like sort of seeing what people consider like the hardest hundred point star and all that, and any specific strategies for certain ones. And consensus seems divided as to whether this one or Rainbow Ride is the worst. Okay, one up is kind of appreciated, but not what I need right now. They say those coins weren't missed, the ones that I missed weren't absolutely necessary. Are these coins? Okay. So many worms. But I told you that they, they all died. Right, now to get back down to the to the red coins without dying. Um Right. I mean if I do die, it's not like collecting the red coins is that difficult. Uh, okay. Yours didn't die, they're everywhere. Um Hello? We you? Uh oh. Speaking of dying. Wii U? The gamepad's just turned off. Console's still on. Uh, well, at least that saved. <laughs> that coin, hopefully. What style? This is the price of um, modded consoles, I suppose. Sometimes, well, homebrew games sometimes will randomly crash. Um, I think I'm going to have to turn the console off and back on again. I really, really hope that saved, because that was a pain. Please turn back on. Oh, good. Sometimes with the Wii U, you kind of feel like you're walking on eggshells. Especially with a lot of models, you know, supposedly having, you know, NAND issues. I really, really hope that that did actually save and that the crash didn't, like, cause it to not save. Oh boy. I don't... I don't remember how many... I don't remember how many, um... How many stars I had before it saved. It's me, Mario! I don't remember how many coins I had, like how many stars I had before doing the 100, 100 mission. Okay, 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 okay. It, it saved it, okay. <sighs> All I gotta do is get the red coins for TikTok clock. Ugh. Also. Hmm. Gamepad didn't come back on. I plugged it in, but. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> the gamepad says it's full of charge, so. Hmm. I charged it up before. <laughs> Again, I'm guessing it was just a random crash, I'm presuming. Because, you know, it is a homebrew app, it's not, you know, official Nintendo. 
so. Okay, I wasn't fully aware if it did actually... Gamepad. I wasn't actually fully sure if it did. Um, I didn't realize you could follow me on here. <laughs> um, I didn't know. I couldn't remember if it actually showed it on like the <laughs> the menu or like the star select screen because it's been because you know I don't normally do the hundred point stars, especially not in the sixty four version. To, I was going to say it's easier to stop and do this on everyone, but apparently not. But it's so much slower. Actually, yeah, double jumping and kicking. That, that's... that's... makes it more consistent. There we go. Do this the third, <laughs> third try, third, third try, third try. There we go. Why does it think he's swimming? Right, that's TikTok clock done. Never again. Uh, now it's time for Rainbow Ride. I hate this level. Alright, for some of the stars, actually, no. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> As you can actually skip the opening carpet ride. Um, uh, this is the one I'm really not looking forward to the 100 coin star. I don't know if doing that is actually any quicker or not than, um... Than actually riding the carpet, but, um... I don't know. Riding the carpet's boring. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. Rainbow Ride. I really do. <laughs> I hate this level so much. <laughs> like, on any kind of like standard playthrough I'm doing of Mario 64, like if I'm just doing a 70 star run, like, Rainbow Ride is getting skipped. <laughs> like, I'll do like one or two missions in TikTok Clock because some of them aren't too bad, like the red coins and like the earlier, like sort of the new one, like some of the earlier sort of normal stars there. But like Rainbow Ride, I just can't stand. For one thing, it's just not the most interesting. Uh. <laughs> it's like an anti-Sonic Man level. Yeah, 
And I'm sure if you're good at it, you can probably skip a lot of this with like good jumps and stuff, but I'm not good at this. I'm not good at it, so I have to wait. <laughs> You know, like it's probably possible to skip some of you know, skip some of the carpet riding. There we go. Yeah, kinda of like how in Marvel Zone in Sonic 1 you can skip a lot of the slow block riding. Um With uh, good jumping, but big, uh, big house in the sky. That's the one I'm thinking of. <sighs> well, you know what? Even if it's not the one, but even if that's not this star, I may as well just do it and get it out of the way. But... <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, watching a good movies recently, uh, I haven't on account of I barely watch movies. <laughs> hey, Joe. You're here in time for me to moan and whine about Rainbow Ride. <laughs> uh, you missed me get absolutely terrified because, um, the whole thing crashed after I, um, got the 100 coin star and died in TikTok clock. <laughs> um, luckily it saved. <laughs> but yeah, you're here in time for me to moan about Rainbow Ride. Like, I can't even duck in time to the music because he ducks too slowly. I need to make sure not to get hit by that because I don't want anything. Easy though. I mean, I'm not good enough at the game to consider this easy, and also, even then, it's boring. <laughs> and to stand on these carpets for like 10 hours. <laughs> yeah. And hope that I don't get uh, messed up by the. Um, Flamethrower here and cause the carpet to despawn. Oh no, 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 oh! Right, are there any other stars I can reach from here? Oh, that was a close one. Right. Just so it's not a wasted level entrance. Practice the wall jump. <laughs> right. I'm not doing 100 coins yet, but... Okay. Oh, guessing you open the cannon. Yes. You do. Uh, okay. Actually, that said... I said no 100 coins yet, but at the same time, I've got 45 already. Maybe I should just do that now. Plus that'll get the pain out of the way, if I do the hundred coins now. I will learn to love this level, no I won't. 
<laughs> I, uh... So like Ben said earlier, it's kind of like the anti-Sonic fan level, with the amount of waiting you have to do in it. With the carpets and stuff. Oh, excuse me. from the game pad. Then give extra coins. <laughs> Imagine if they gave a coin every time they detonated. And it's just farm coins from that. <laughs> it'd be really boring and slow, but hey, it'd be easy. You can skip some bits, but I'm not good enough. Like, well, some of it I can do, but some of it I'm holding the jump button, Mario. Jump higher. Although, I think saying that, you know, it's not too bad once you're really, really good at it is not necessarily the best argument, because then I can say that Marvel Zone in Sonic 1 is, like, perfectly fine, because you can go fast in it once you're practiced at it. I'm just not very good at the wall jumps in this game. It's because I played a lot more of the other Mario games where wall jumping uh, is, you know, different. Oh, that was close. Uh. Oh, you. <clears throat> It doesn't like it if I fall out and die at these levels sometimes. Wow. That's the second time it's done that. That's kind of concerning. Oh, yeah, this is happening. That's kind of concerning that it's done that twice now. Right. Yeah, I know the connection's been lost, game I've had. Well, I just sit on TV remote, okay. Well, I suppose if that's not an incentive to die, I don't know what else is. Mario. Hello. I mean, if this one, I, I, I don't, I don't think I want to buy a second Wii U before, my <laughs> while this one's still working fine. I think it's just the... I think it's the game. It's probably just because, you know, it's a homebrew app, so, you know. There's always just the sort of thing of homebrew apps sometimes will just crash randomly. Right, here we go. 
I think I'd be unreasonably mad if it crashed at 99 coins. I mean, I'm already kind of mad. What I don't get is how I'm... I've got so bad at that platforming, because I'm sure I've, like... You know... Not had trouble with that plat those platforms before. Well, I'm going to try and do the house and big house in the sky again, because, you know, it takes forever. That's the last time I try and speed that up. <sighs> and honestly, this level is the reason why I wanted to start as close to 7 as I could. Because I suck at this level. And I just, Ugh. <sighs> Love waiting on platforms. Try and speed this one up this time because that just led to me falling off and dying. So this is fun, is it, Joe? This is a this is a really fun level, just standing, standing like not doing anything. Just so standing around doing nothing is your idea of a good time in a game. Okay, noted. No, 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 ugh. My, my salt is directed towards this level. I just, uh, <laughs> I just really don't like it. Right, there we go. I mean, most of this mission isn't too hard. It's just that if you mess up right at the end with the... Flamethrower there. You gotta do the whole thing again. I just spent most of it just sitting on a carpet doing very little. Right. Red coins. Right, let's try the 100 coins again. I'm guessing there's some coins up here. Yeah, there are. Don't disappear on me. I grant her, I suppose I could have just gone back, but you know. Actually, I think before I do any the other difficult parts, well, before I do any of the big sort of jumpy parts, probably would be best to try for the um Oh, well, there goes one coin. Try for the blue coins. Because they're kind of required, aren't they? Right. 
Let's do a couple of practice runs. Alright, one more practice run, just to be sure. <laughs> this noise and I can't wait to pay for the Tomb Raider 3. Oh, are, are there like long bits of riding on a really slow magic carpet in um, Tomb Raider 3? Is... Well, no use trying for the hundred coins if I fail the blue coins. <sighs> I got it three times perfectly. Three times perfect, and I messed up on the actual attempt. Mario, please stop turning your momentum weirdly. Really, that hit me from there. Okay. Let me go this way, I think. You know, I'm going to do the blue coins without any practice runs. I think that's probably just the best way to do it. If I do practice runs, you know, I'll just end up taking longer. If I, yeah, if I fail the jumps, I fail the jumps, so I'll just try again. <clears throat> I did the jumps. Didn't get the coins quick enough. We may be here a while. Do you see why I originally didn't want to do this? I'm not very good at this. Singing until you play the back two thirds of Pikmin 2. Whoops. The thing is, I'm also moaning about me being bad at this, though. That's how I've been wording it. Because, <laughs> well. Frankly, it's true. <laughs> I am bad at this. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily the easiest thing in the world, but, you know. I'm sure there are harder things <laughs> in Mario and in games. Not <laughs> mostly aimed at Joe. <laughs> I mean, it was challenging games. Um, Original versions of Rayman 1. <laughs> oh. Got myself in a bad cycle there. I don't like that exiting the uh, level brings you down there. I think it's just a bit annoying. <laughs> Why can't they bring you out to where the level entrance is? I know it's not it doesn't take long to get back up, but <laughs> can you do certainly come in? Oh 
Oh, if you love artificial difficulty, you need to do Trip Story in Sonic Superstars uh, without uh, without um, abusing super form. You know, I got these blue coins just fine. First attempt. It's the fun that I'm having that counts, but I'm not having fun. <laughs> That's the problem there. I'm not having fun. I'll have, I'll have more fun when I get back to things that aren't this level. Because now that the game's dropping inputs. That's a lot of words there, Ben. <laughs> About Pikmin. <laughs> uh, I know, it's aimed at Joe though, so he can read it. <laughs> right. I think I'm gonna have trauma from uh, this, <laughs> frankly. And the problem is, those coins are well, falling in between the gaps as well, so, hmm. Great. Yeah, rip those coins. Oh, Mario. Let's try down here. <laughs> I don't want to go up there. I hope this gives me coins. Because I don't want to. Be, I don't want to like go into the twirling thing. Because, like, in case it just sends me. Well, in case I don't get back down to the ground in time, frankly. There we go. Gives me a couple. Oh, I'm gonna have to go up those carpets, aren't I? <sighs> Let's see if there's any coins down here first. Just while I'm down here. No, there's one up, though. And I'll take it. How's the coin collecting going? Um, 
I'm not having a great time because it's Rainbow Ride. <laughs> uh, um, so TikTok clock, uh, I, I got TikTok clocks, and then after I got the hundred coins, I like fell off and died, and my console like crashed, and it's crashed a couple of times since as well. Um, Let's give me a coin. Uh, I don't know which way has coins. <laughs> Almost the draw distance. <laughs> There's some up here. I don't even care if I end up having to redo the um, red coins. Uh, please sit with some coins over there. I don't want to have to bother with them. I don't want to have to bother with the carpets. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Please jump, 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 jump. Okay, okay. Yes, save, 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 save. Oh, okay. The big pain is out of the way. The big pain is out of the way. Okay. Like I said, I don't even care if I, like, die. Was it fun? I feel relieved. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I was just walking on eggshells for that whole thing. Oh, boy. Well, the worst is out of the way. Well, one of the worst, anyway. Right, what next for Rainbow Ride itself? Swinging in the breeze, which I presume is the one over there that I nearly went to. I'll do it again. No, why would I? Why would I need to? I've already done it. <laughs> I've already done it and didn't have a good time. So, come on. Again, one of the things I love, about, like, you know, the thing I love about Mario 64 is that. You know, it lets you play the game how you want if you're just looking to beat it. Which means, on a standard playthrough, I don't have to do any of this. Oh, yeah, so, yeah notifications, yeah. I, like, you kind of need to, like, swipe. Uh, sort of swipe up so that you get the mini window sometimes. Right. Why is it more of a hassle that I can play the bits of the game that I like? Why am I going this way? Whoops. <laughs> Why is it more of a hassle though? Like, I love that the game lets the game gives you the freedom to play what you want. Oh, the oh right, the Twitch thing. To be honest, I was kind of just assuming you were like saying that to me because you've, uh, because you previously said to me that like my the reason I like Mario 64 for being able to s skip the bits I don't like is wrong. <laughs> Why did you not jump very high there? I know this gave me trouble the last time I did this star. I suppose it is literally called Tricky Triangles. Yeah. 
Yeah, this gave me trouble last time I played the game, so... Okay, there we go. Alright, the last one's the cannon one, isn't it? Oh right dear. How many times am I going to mess that one up? At least you can very easily skip the first carpet ride. It might not, I don't think, it's probably not much quicker, but it's more engaging. <laughs> Right, once I've done this though, I can go back to the easier levels, <laughs> do their 100 coin stars, and then we can go off to Bowser. Hopefully the next game has a level like this, no. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. Because, you know... You know what I really love doing in my platform games? Platforming. You know, rather than just standing, waiting. I actually have to do something here. <laughs> or not, it could be... You know, it's time for that to do anything there. Still need to jump here. Yes. The carpet is platforming for you. Is it? <laughs> like, this part isn't so... This part here isn't so bad because, you know, again, you actually got to, like, engage with it. Right. If I remember right... Right. Okay. Uh, Joe, genuine, genuine question. Where do I aim for this? Like, do I point it at the rainbow or do I go a bit higher? Obviously, I know we need to aim for the pole. You're better at the uh, cannon. You, you know the camera posi the cannon positions better than I do. Lower. About here. Yeah, about there. Right. If this is wrong, you you're being timed out for like 10 seconds. again on carpets. I warned you. <laughs> it may have been wrong by mistake. <sighs> Why do I trust him? He's meant he was meant to I was typing though a little higher but it was too late because delay. A likely story. Uh, this is a native port. It's not an emulation. It's not an emulation. Um, it's a native homebrew port, like based on the that like decompiled version that made the like PC port. Hence widescreen and um, 60 FPS. So yeah, no save states. Besides, even if there were like, I mean, as annoying as I find this level, I would. I still would probably do it, quote-unquote, properly. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm surprised I got away with doing that. Central Circle should do it. I was in the center to start with. <laughs> well, let's make sure I'm aiming at. First, make sure I'm aligned right vertically. Or horizontally, even. There we go. Oh, and then avoid this words I don't say on stream. Quick, 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 quick. Jump! There we go. Right. That's Rainbow Ride done. Never again. I mean, maybe I maybe I'll be the go there one again one day, but it's gonna be a while. I really do prefer any other level to Rainbow Ride. Right, let's do it in the red coin mission. Well, I'm gonna go for the sky ones first, just because it's a pain to grab the star if like the last coin means are like the ones in the sky. <laughs> If I leave the last, if I lo if I do like the um, you know, if I if I leave the last coin, be one on the ground. Um, then it makes getting the star easier. there's any blue coins in the battlefield. I actually can't remember. Star in the Sky adds challenge to the fun. Adds to the challenge, it's fun. I don't want to add challenge, <laughs> I just want to be done with it. <laughs> Alright. I mean, that's, that's, plen that's, that's plenty of coins, probably. Enough, at least. Enough. Being in the sky. I mean, being an early level, you know, should be plenty easy to get enough coins. You know, I don't mind the hundred coin missions in these earlier, easier levels. I don't mind, like, running around and grabbing the coins. Yeah, I, I, know, I know that Cooper has blue... Uh, I know that Cooper gives you a blue coin when you kill it. I was more talking about the, the you know, the, the block. Like, the switch. I more meant the switch. Yeah, because I know, I know that Cooper spawns one. When you, uh, kill it. Let's 
excuse me. Oops. Am I even bothering to do this? Yeah, I don't love beating. Like, there's one or two tracks in the game that I'm not that like don't always stick in my head, but the main theme is absolutely classic. I mean, most of the music here I, I do like. There's just like one or two tracks that stick in my head when I'm not playing the game. But most of the music is is fantastic. It's like literally one or two tracks. And by one or two tracks, it's mainly like Big Boo's horn just doesn't stick in my head when I'm not playing. Like they're like the tracks that Galaxy and 3D World have for their ghost houses. And, uh, uh, that might be the only one <laughs> where I have any, like, mild criticism. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Really need for start running circles. What a weird mechanic. <laughs> Run circles around the around these and they'll throw out some coins. <laughs> I don't know if the game ever tells you that you can do that. <laughs> Pole dancing. <laughs> mm. Oh, come on. Had. Don't die on me today. Oh, my. <laughs> Do I need to hold this behind my laptop or something? For a better signal. Probably like messed it up now and I can't do it. Like, probably won't let me do it now. Yeah. Right. Mario works a lot careers to make ends meet. Plumber, doctor, builder, exotic dancer. <laughs> yeah. Is coming up like this actually any quicker than going the proper way? I'm not sure. But I usually do it. <laughs> there we go. Nice and easy 100 point star, this one. I didn't even bother getting all of the... Um, Do, does pounding them give you coins as well? I'm not sure. I have a memory of like brown pounding them and then not giving me coins, but that might be a false memory. Uh, let's do the red coin mission again. I think these give you blue coins, maybe? Yes, they do. Does this give you coins? It does. It really spread out coins, apparently. I think there's a warp in here. Is there a warp in one of these? I can't remember. Maybe not. You just don't get hurt. I guess that makes sense. 
Oops. <laughs> Could have timed that better. Oh wait, there's a red coin on top of this one. Isn't there? Do the butterflies give coins? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the Metal Mario there, you know, it's like, I suppose it's like helpful in, in a way if you want to use it to avoid, to like, not have to bother timing yourself through the womps. <laughs> womps even. If you don't want to bother timing yourself through the thwomps, I suppose, it's useful for that, but... I, genuinely, I can't remember if the butterflies do anything. You know, one sort of should be like a really nice and easy blue <laughs> um, um, thingy, you know. Should be a nice and easy uh, 100 coin mission. Oh! Well, that blue coin's gonna despawn, isn't it? By the time I get back up. Just had to be right after I said it was gonna be nice and easy. Maybe because I didn't collect it, maybe it'll come back. Come back, that's fine. There's still plenty of coins. Ow! <laughs> it's going to be nice and easy, this one. Uh, that's entirely my fault. Well, like, maybe I can do the. Um, maybe I can get the blue coin from that one. Oh. <laughs> Slide away so fast when they're on the. When they uh, go along the wall. What's the video about, like, why they do that? Is... get that red coin system. There's plenty of coins in this level, so... If we go slowly enough... Going slow is probably much easier with the N64 stick than the Wii U. <laughs> what would I rate Rayman 3 out of 10? Um... Probably like... It's been a while since I've played through the whole thing, but like, I'd have to really play it, but like, maybe like a 7 or an 8. I do quite like it, but I do prefer Rayman 2. Why do they do this? <laughs> Why do they produce coins when you jump on them? 
<laughs> like that. <laughs> like, just a random mechanic that I don't really understand. Alright, there we go. Got that one. Oh, nearly sneezed there. <laughs> oh, there you go. There's the sneeze. <laughs> Alright. I think I will just grab an actual star so I can exit the course, like, properly, quote unquote, and get the one up. From the coin, like, get the one ups from the coins. And get this one up as well. No, it's not. It's here, isn't it? Nope, it's here. Wow. Good memory there. Didn't know they did that. Oh, the wants. Yeah, when you stand on them, they do that for some reason. I'm not really sure why. I'm just trying to remember where the blue coins are in uh, Jolly Roger Bay, if there even are any blue coins. Alright. Hmm, three whole coins. Near the chests in the cave. Okay. Oh. I'll do all the out of water stuff first, I reckon. There's like not that many. Let me have a quick Google. Jolly Roger Bay. Jolly Roger Bay. 104. Oof. There's a lot. There's not a lot either, even. Yeah. Jeez. Every coin counts here then, huh? So that, that box near the beginning, is that meant to only spawn three coins? I hate to remember right. But at least with this one, I'm at less risk of falling off and dying. <laughs> that was really my main thing with Rainbow Ride, it's stressful. <laughs> This is why Rayman 2 has my favourite swimming controls. <laughs> Miss a blue and that's it, no pressure. I mean, that was true with Rainbow Ride as well. <laughs> that's true with, like, a lot of them. <laughs> Maybe I should go straight to the cave. Um... So it's calming music to soothe you through the swivel. Yes, that is true, that is calming music. 
Oh. <laughs> Right, where do these blue coins spawn? Hold on. There's it. Or to make you too tired to focus. Right, Jolly Roger Bay. Actually, I will pause in case those Goombas go weird. Uh, blue coins. By the wall. Uh, the DS version is a bit different, like quality-wise, for the music. Um, so that might be it. I'm struggling to connect. Oh. <laughs> uh, all I did was go on... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna get rid of your enemies first. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I know there's something to be said for, like, how more streamlined the 64 version is with the less characters. And so, like, that's a fair enough kind of, like, reference thing, I'd say. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Nope, I still can't remember the order for this. more stars to no 11 more stars to go well, i think it was 115 <laughs> overall <laughs> all right it's no man's land i am going to go to the slide first <laughs> to race you. I suppose I could have said don't go. Oh, there's a blue coin. Oh, well, I missed the blue coin. Oh, well. Perhaps I should have chosen slip slide in the way instead of a later one. <laughs> so that the penguin doesn't spawn. I was hoping it would fall off like a stupid amount of times like I could do in the race. It's fine, I'm not actually looking to do the race, so... Cool Core Mountain feels like it should be pretty easy to get the store, the get the 100 coin star, because like, there's just so many coins here. <laughs> So on the contrary for the whole Yoshi thing, 
when I played 64 DS like first when I was like I say a kid, a slightly older kid, more of a teenager. Didn't I already grab these coins? Hmm. Life hack? <laughs> um. Yoshi's kind of like always been one of my like one of my favorite characters in Mario, so playing as Yoshi didn't bother me at all. And gameplay-wise, he feels like the most useful one of the lot because like. Because, you know, he can get everyone's he can get everyone's hat, but no one else can like use his abilities, so. There we go. Nice and easy here. Here we go. So I kind of want to get an actual uh, star, just so they can give me the one ups. Right there we go. It's these levels done. Right, let's do Big Boo's Haunt next. That one again should be pretty easy because. Of all the blue coins you get from defeating the booze. first. All the blue coins from the uh, booze should make this one easy. And the Mr. Eye. Sakurai's allowed to make games other than Smash, right, Joe? The books here also. Nope. 
Uh, Waluigi will be in the next one as an assist trophy. Can you follow me? There we go. The red coins. Are there any normal coins hidden under these ones? So you can go up. Okay. Oh, missed. Missed that one. reboot. <laughs> Ice climbers, but it's an attorney stone. Uh, it's attorney stone murder mystery. I they find the corpse on Mount Everest. <laughs> They make new character models for anyone that's in Smash. <laughs> Alright, basement time. You know what, since it's here, let's do Dire Dire Docks. I don't think Sakurai himself personally did the 3D modeling in Smash Bros. Also, like he's he's the he's the game's like director. <laughs> I don't think he's personally involved in the 3D modeling. Close to the whirlpool. Any other coins in this area? I've got them all. Any coins in here? No. There's a one up. I right, guess I'm going this way. I do find it funny, actually, the, you know, the way we call this piece of music in the West, we call it Die Die Dots, because I think like, the American release of the soundtrack called it that. The Japanese release of the soundtrack just called it Water. 
I don't know why I just find that funny. <laughs> I still don't know how to interact with it in, in underwater in this game. <laughs> oh, there's some coins here as well. That current is concerning. Really? Really? I didn't know that that happened. Oh, this coins are deceptive. I didn't know that can happen. Oh, the prophetic just killed me. Now I'm gonna go back. Well, I'm gonna do a different level next. Yeah, I was trying, like, I was trying to avoid it, but it was just too, uh, like, the current was genuinely too strong. <laughs> like, even at the fastest swimming, I just couldn't get out of it. Right. I'm going to avoid those coins. There's probably enough in the level without them. Now, I think I would have just preferred it killed me so that it didn't have to go all the way back. Well, it's not as bad as being Mario over, over the rainbow, but still. Okay. <laughs> Those coins are concerning you close to the to that whirlpool, but you can at least escape it with fast swimming. <laughs> Yeah, it was the hole. I didn't... well, I, I presumed it would kill me, but I didn't think it would take me out to the castle moat. Or, that's not even moat, it's when it's drained, but you know what I mean. I didn't think it would take me outside the castle. But I didn't know about it. I've never gone close enough to that hole. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid those coins. They're a trap. Where were the... Where were the less... Less bad coins? Yeah. I'm guessing there must be enough up here. Oh. 
here. I'm guessing those blue coins are gonna... I'm guessing the blue coins are gonna do a lot of the heavy lifting here <laughs> for the 100 coin. Didn't pick Bowser's sublet. Why would I pick that one for 100 coins? <laughs> why, would I want to, why would I want to, you know... Why would I want that? <laughs> I know not to... I know not to have the sub in the way. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I know that if you pick the sub, it, it doesn't... You, you can't. <laughs> I know that much. Yeah, I presume the um, red coin, the blue coin's going to do a lot of heavy lifting here. In terms of having enough coins to do it. The blue coins all spawn on this platform. Looks like it's just all on this platform. There we go. The wall takes just the same as the platform, just stretched. I never noticed that either. Oh. Okay, Mario can't grab the pole while he's kicking. Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. Are there enough coins left in the level? Do I have to go and get the dangerous coins? Oh no. Oh, hold on. Think about it. Would Metal Mario be able to get them? I don't know. I'm scared though. <laughs> Especially now that I've done all the other coins. That's just six. Two for six. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go and get the dangerous coins, aren't I? Few at least, yeah. Now I've got to <laughs> wait for these to line up properly. Yeah, I, I will. We should all do a groove acapella with this tune.
And then there's times that we have tuneful voices. I dare say it feels like you're meant to use Metal Mario to get these. If we instrumented it, I could probably do it. Auto tune is a thing. <laughs> I mean, I can sing okay, I just choose not to on stream. <laughs> right. Again, let's get across uh, so I can get my uh, one ups. <laughs> to least the right sing for us. No, I just literally said I choose not to on stream. Um, let's done it again. <sighs> well, I know it saves at least. What's your favorite Max Payne game? I've never played one, so um, <laughs> if I want to cause fights, I'll say whichever one people don't like. But I have no opinion on Max Payne at all because I've never played it. Well, this was my favourite home console version of Mario 64 until it started crashing. <clears throat> the 3DS version definitely uh, beats this out for now. Because it's never I've never had it crash my 3DS. I'm presuming it's just the game though, like and not some kind of NAND issue because normally they uh have it's normally the NAND issues come up with a specific Mario. error code when they happen. Alright, seven more hundred coin stars to go. Let's just check if it did save. Okay, it did. Cool. So wouldn't happen with the 3D All-Stars version. Yeah, but the 3D All-Stars version also wouldn't be 60 FPS. That we use this revolting against 100 coins. Yeah, because it didn't start doing it until I started trying these 100 coin stars. I think you have to be a sucker who bought 3D All-Stars. I mean, I am one of those suckers, so... Sure of the uh, optimal strategy for this, so oh. thanks, game. I probably want um Joe, what missions do the um what mission does the shell spawn in? Does it spawn in the eight coin in the red coin one or do I need to pick a different one? Feeling I'm gonna want the um, <laughs> shell. Oh, all those one ups are built up. <laughs> oh, and yeah, sun sunshine. Uh, I'm. I don't think I. I don't think I'll ever. Um, I don't think I'll ever. Um, I'll never hundred percent sunshine. I think I'd only ever hundred percent sunshine if. Like, there was any kind of, like, monetary incentive. You know? The coin 
Mr. That's all I needed the red coin, the shell for. Ow! Mamma mia! Let's go! Right, let's try that again, huh? I'm gonna go this way to see if there's anything else. If there's anything. Ow! Other than. No, there's nothing coin obviously. Right, so I would have been okay. Ow! Oh. <laughs> there's a wall. <laughs> I know there's a wall. <laughs> I was just testing the waters, you know, seeing seeing what was where. That's all I really need that for. Well, the box is in these forms. Excuse me. There we go, the coin actually came up here. Excuse me, can you follow me? There we go. Right, let's hope I don't get. Let's try not to let myself get thrown backwards this time. Maybe I'll do the non-shell stuff first, because <laughs> that has more risk of me dying, apparently. My jump kick strategy from before wasn't working on those ones for some reason. I don't know why. Unfortunately, I think I've mostly exhausted the easy ones now. <laughs> to sort of get coins out here and I think I'm going to, I assume I'm going to need to go into the volcano to get enough. Oh, I forgot that it gives you coins when it completes the picture of Bowser. I completely forgot it did that. Why is she recommended? Uh, probably because she makes Twitch a lot of money. <laughs> Probably why she's recommended. <laughs> Barely made that one. Are there any coins on here? No. Yeah. 
can't remember if these give you any coins. I don't think they do. I don't think the big ones give you coins. No. Take it slow here. <laughs> Take it slow here. Don't want to die here. Right. Uh, it's probably. Yeah, I'll make it better from here. <laughs> Pretty good. This isn't really not designed to go backwards in, is it, this part? <laughs> Alright, let's grab the shell. Might not even need to get that many in the volcano. Depending on how many are actually out here. I don't need to get many in the volcano. Nice. Well, barring a couple of deaths there, that wasn't too bad. I suppose they didn't need to go that... I suppose they didn't need to go as far as getting every... coin outside, but hey, it saved doing volcano platforming. Alright, Hazy Maze Cave and Shifty Sandland are left down here, and then it's just the upstairs ones. Uh, Shifty Sandland. That gave me a lot of trouble last time, didn't it? Or time before. Whichever one it was. I'm gonna go to Hazy Maze Cave first. Missions load the same thing, possibly. Okay. You know what? Oh. Let's head over to the maze. That's where the blue coins are. So 
grab one of these things here. There's a Mr. Rye up there. Oh no, that's... That must be awkward to get the... Uh... How do you get him to... How do you get this one oh, to spin? You know, let's get some other coins or some heals first. <laughs> like I can say I've lived 100 coins vicariously through me and never do them. Yeah, I have done it on DS. Because apparently Teenager Me had the time to do it. But, uh... <laughs> I've never done it on the N64 version. Well, I've gotten a few of them before, but... How do you... How do you get on such a tiny platform? Ouch. Ouch. Let's, let's head down here. Yeah. Ring of coins? No? Okay. Right, uh, time to remember where these blue coins spawn. Which way do they go? This way. Okay, cool. Well, that's kind of the important part of, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like an important part of the blue co of the, uh, hung coins here, I presume. Making sure to get the uh, blue coins there. Oh boy. I can't remember if this is a one of the coins. <laughs> that was close. That was too close. I can do without those coins, I think. I hope I come down here, it's not a point of no return. I hope I can go back up. <laughs> so I don't know any, if there's many coins down there. Like, I hope the lift stays there. Are there even any coins down there? How are they boring? Points to the stream. Hmm. Okay, good. It stays there. Let's try and figure out how to do those Mr. Eyes, I think. It's such a tiny amount of space, though. <laughs> yeah, it's probably one of those things that's easier with the N64 controller, with the, like, precision it has. Ugh, let's try and go backwards through this. <laughs> oh, no, 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 oh, thank goodness. Coin comes here, I mean, the bat will give me a coin if, if it comes over and lets me jump on it. Are there any coins here? No. 
I pressed down on the analog stick, Mario. Why did he go forwards? <laughs> it's going to stream boring. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, I know it's the <laughs> coins. Okay. I'm going to try and figure out how to get these Mr. Eyes without um, running into them. Maybe if I get the red coins first. I only, I've only got two red coins, so that's what? Twelve. That's twelve coins right there. With the red coins. We had the red coins first, just to heal, to be honest. I don't know how fast I have to be at, like, walking around Mr. I. Oh! The problem is if I bump into it, <laughs> it knocks me off the platform. there's any normal coins along this path, whether it's just the red coins. Guess I'll find that in a moment. <laughs> well, that's nothing. <laughs> yeah. I think I am going to have to do the Mr. Eyes, or maybe there's some more coins in the maze part. Two Mr. Eyes will get me enough. It's just actually trying to beat them. Maybe there's more coins in the maze. <laughs> If you could look at me for one thing, that, that would help. Oh! I nearly went into the thing. You know what? Oh! Oh! Why? <laughs> Please, 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 get the coin! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's any more coins in the maze. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was too close. was very nearly like that was close to being like a rage quit. <laughs> oh, speaking of rage, shifting sand land. It already gave me trouble before. Uh. Alright. 
I've smashed my glasses. There's a reason I don't normally do this. The glasses are still smudged. Right. Right. Not looking forward to this one either. This is one of the ones I was probably looking least forward to alongside Rainbow Ride, to be honest. I don't know if this one actually is difficult or annoying or not, it's just more the fact that the level itself gave me trouble last time. <laughs> that more than anything, really. Please give you anything if you kill them. Oh, they give you a blue point. Nice. I'm not sure I'd trust myself with that, to be honest. Can you come away from the quicksand, please? here before going into the pyramid. Please don't steal my hat. So very rarely actually walk on the pyramid. There are coins on the pyramid, okay. They're not getting knocked off like I did last time. to me.
That was risky. <laughs> I've been making like all sorts of noises throughout this playthrough, haven't I? <laughs> my flash before my life flash before your eyes there. Don't worry, it flashed before my eyes as well. Alright, hopefully that's enough coins on the outside. Ah, blue coins. Well, let's, let's, let's clear the end. Let's clear the area first. There's one enemy in the area. Right. Where are these blue coins spawn? Oh, there. Let's go grab whatever comes from might be this way. I don't rarely go this way. <laughs> Even though we get going this way. What's the sign say? Oh, it gives you a hint, though. The thing. Oh, so there's almost no point to going this way. Okay. That's a bit of a pathetic blue coin switch. Yeah. That said, because of the camera angle, I didn't know where they spawned, so I, you know, <laughs> did kind of almost miss it. And obviously the quicksand did make it a bit harder. I think I'll zoom the camera out. So I can actually see what's going on. Any coins down here? Maybe. Nope, just one up. Oh, come on. Let's try that again then. I'm holding the button. That said, there seems to have made a change where you don't have to hold the button, you just grab one. Oops. Maybe, maybe holding the button isn't the right thing to do. This quick sound is really annoying. Maybe I just need to... Okay. Can you give me a better camera angle, please, game? Right. This one shouldn't be too bad. Only a few more coins left to go. And then we'll be done for the basement. The end is nearly in sight. There we go. Nice and easy last coin. Despite buying barely any food this week, and every food shop budget, barely can the amount of medicine. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I always like clipping through there. Right, let's do Tiny Huge Island first. The Goombas, the big Goombas, if you ground pound them, give you blue coins. If you ground pound them. Mm. Let's see if ground pounding the thing does anything. Trying 
the Eaton. Purple coin from the blue coin even from you. a funny noise. What makes a funny noise? Ground pounding the post. Oh. Like that, we're nearly halfway there already. I think there might be still some more Goombas to go, so. Let's see. the butterflies. I'll uh, give that a go when I next see some, if they reappear from the tree. Oh, that still wasn't high enough. I had it right the first time. <laughs> I'm scared to go the other way, just because, like, I'm scared of the bottomless pits. <laughs> oh, butterflies are gone. Uh, are there coins along here? I can't remember. There are. Ow! You know what? I nearly... Nearly make it. Oh, there we go. Skills. Hey! <laughs> What was that? <laughs> Game. Boom! I genuinely didn't know that happened. Boom, but follow me. Thank you. I presume that punching the piranha plants down here gives you blue coins like they do elsewhere? I can't remember. Does it? No, it just gives you these coins. That's fine though, that's still more that's still some coins. Oh. <laughs> Did you mention it earlier? There might have been some bits of chat that I missed, to be fair. earlier. Uh, I, I, I must have missed that. Uh-oh. 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 Go away. Didn't realise that was here as well.
Does the Koopa respawn if I'm to use that? Probably not. No, it does not. So I just need to be careful. And there's probably coins like over, over in the platforming bit, but I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of, of the platforming section there. Oh, I did the same mistake again. Hello. I did find out that we can just make it up here. I think let's switch to this. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to climb a bit higher up, get some more coins. Then I'm going to switch over to the small island. I don't want to uh, go into the red coin bit because knowing my luck, I'll fall off. Alright, get ready for a random for a dramatic camera swing. Any points up here? I can't remember. No, there aren't. Is it going to do a dramatic swing? Yes, it is. Right, I'm going to head over to the small, the small version of the uh, island. Should be coins there as well. Yeah. Hopefully enough for me to uh, finish. The level. How many coins? Give me a blue coin. Yes, it does. Cool. There we go. That solves that. <clears throat> right, stream's probably going. Well, stream is almost definitely going to go further than uh, ten o'clock, given that it's like ten to now. What am I going in here for? Right. So what have I got left? Tortoise Mountain, Snowman's Land, Wet Dry World. <laughs> Kill Cooper the quick. Fine. It'll respawn next time uh, someone goes in the level. Oh, I didn't mean to enter it that low. Where's my third coin? I think it's coins up here, isn't it? No coins there? No. Are there any other coins down here? Not that I can see. Well, 
excuse me. Oh no, you don't. The fact that those things can combo you is really annoying. <laughs> Well, there's 67 already, so I'm not actually too bad. Can't remember what's in here. More coins. The amount of coin boxes is very help here is very helpful. You can't get but you can't get a behind the Mario view here without going to the Mario cam. Yeah. 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 I guess I've got to go to the town for the last for the last uh, set of um, thingy, last uh, lot of coins. I didn't either until I um, looked it up. <laughs> Ooh. If I get the angle right now, I won't have to use the thingy. Whatever it's called. Fling me into the other one. Excuse me. I think flinging it this way is probably like the safest option, really. This is the highest you can set the water from within the level itself. Uh, I know there's like a trick you can do by like, by like long jumping into this or something. It like causes you to like jitter on the like seam between like the bits of the level and it lets you get into the town that way. I like talk to them all along. Need to get to the town. Oh no. Need to get to the town. Okay. <laughs> oh, just about managed that. Right, 
town is that way, so... Hold on, that probably gives me coins. As to those, hold on. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to go to the town area. <laughs> Ninety-seven. Okay, maybe I do need to go to the town. Oh wait, no, there's coins up here. Ah. Okay, you can do it without going to the town. Nice. Should have started even earlier than I did. Oh well. Let's do Snowman's Land next. To be fair, it's just these two levels and then Final Bowser. So, yeah, not too many more. Uh, let's do the red coin one. Why not? Oh, how are you supposed to get all these coins? Spread out really far. Oh, the brief pause of silence for the music kicked him in the finger stream crashed. Uh, I wonder if there's any coins up there. Uh, the answer is no. Okay, I can't defeat those apparently. No man, this is the strongest creature in the Mario universe, the Apex Predator. <laughs> mm. Indeed it is. Is that another one of those things? Yes it is. No idea how easy or hard this um, red this hundred point mission is meant to be. It's just a one up. Obviously, I want to keep at least one of these things alive for getting over. That's a star, so I'm going to avoid that box there. Get the red coins. So again, the red coins give you know, that's 16 already, kind of thing. Right, the 
my coins are lower by 16 of the level's coins, so it's like worth it to get them. Can I defeat you like this? No, I can't. Fair enough. Alright. I can't remember if there are coins up this way, there's a few. Right, at least I've got the penguin on a cycle. And then immediately fall off. Cool. Maybe by the time I'm back it'll be almost a cycle again? No. Alright, well now we wait. Although I'm two thirds of the way through these uh, coins. I'm guessing the igloo is mandatory to some degree? Coins up here. Hmm, doesn't look like it. There's a one up there. Oh, I guess it's igloo time then. Ooh, camera, what are you doing? Like it too, you're drunk. Well, at least I fell in the right place. Yeah, the penguin going backwards is that that's the annoying part of it of the of that mission. Just the way to decide to randomly go backwards sometimes. That's that's the annoying part of it. Uh, I'm guessing I need vanish cap to get in most of these bits. Yeah. I can get these. But I need the vanish cap to get those. Yeah, the igloo is really different from DS. I can't remember what it's like, but I know it's. I remember it's really different. Right, I may as well grab the star that's here. Oh, never mind. That's too slow. Right, one more hundred coin star to get, and then we can go up to Bowser. Well, and get the red coin star that's in the final Bowser level. It's been a long while since I've done that red coin mission, though, so. Do this small for it. I can't remember the coins that way. Oh no, no, it's um, slide first, isn't it? Well, I'll get a few coins on the way, but slide first. Slide first because I don't want the star to spawn in there. Because that will that would cause problems.
<laughs> this is really concentrating on not falling off. <laughs> so that deposits you out here. And there we go. Back to the main level. Do these give you coins again? Yes, they do. <laughs> I just didn't want to collect too many coins the first time round. Again, didn't want to make the star spawn in the slide. Uh, are there any coins down here? There are some. Lovely. Oh, this one shouldn't, hopefully, be too bad. Just make sure I don't, like, accidentally fall, nearly fall off like Joe did that time where, like, as I titled the clip, I think he nearly had a heart attack. The red coins aren't even collected, so I can collect them again. <laughs> not going, not not those ones. Those are too risky. Yeah, the red coins stay uncollected. <laughs> to cause an heart attack. No, this is back when this is like when you streamed this like ages ago, <laughs> and like you nearly fell off, like you nearly fell off the level at 99 coins. Like you had 99 and you nearly fell off. Goombas here. Not going anywhere near that monkey. <laughs> right, I'm at 99, but there's a Goomba here. There we go. Get the coin, there we go. There we go, that's all the 100 coin stars. I hope that was enjoyable. My gamepad's out of charge. Well, running out of charge. I hope that was enjoyable to someone, because it wasn't to me. <laughs> uh. You know, even if I'm really ill on Tuesday, I'm going to enjoy that more than this, because that's going to be Sonic Generations, you know. AKA one of my favourite games ever. <laughs> right, up to Bowser. Hopefully. I mean, I played through the level itself plenty of times. But, uh, I haven't got the red coins in a while. <laughs> you had fun so and see what everyone else is moaning about. Just for. Not enough space for me to do it. I have done it before, but uh... right here we go. Don't remember where all the red coins are, so hmm, this is going to be slightly interesting. One there. Can I get it without moving the box? Maybe not. Well, I can probably jump from the box. You know what, I think I'll move the box. I'm glad the Bowser levels don't have 100 coin stars. That would be painful. Alright, normally I skip a bit of... <laughs> uh, I need to remember where all the red coins are. Ugh, that's nice. 
Although I don't think that's the Baron of the Mist. Uh, no, I think it may be the Mist. I'm not sure. I think I saw one here. Yes, I did. That was close. Uh, look, that's just danger down there. Now, as a normal platforming level, without, like I said, don't normally do the red coins. I like this level a lot. You know, it's just a straight up proper platforming challenge. Alright, I'm gonna go this way because I don't, <laughs> I don't remember there's any red coins this way. Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, that was my fault. I shouldn't have tried that. Good. If I wasn't doing 100%, <laughs> I would just be having a nice time doing the platforming. That's an example of the gamepad dropping inputs with the Wi-Fi interference. You might have noticed that I've been doing a lot of accidental ground pounds out of backflips. Where, like, basically, because I'm still holding the button, really let go of the button. Like, knowing that that's an issue. <laughs> like, since I know it's an issue, I should really let go of the button. It's not a John if I'm proposing a solution for myself. Skip this bit here. Yeah, normally I like to skip around. It's really spin faster than I'm used to. <laughs> oh, my hands are actually getting sweaty now. How many have I got? Six. Two more red coins to go. Oh, there's one there. Oh, that was close. Hopefully I haven't missed one. <laughs> I really hope I haven't missed one. I think it's like under that bridge. If I remember correctly. There's like one up behind all these pillars in the way. Oh no, oh yeah, there it is. There's the bridge. Oh, yeah, under there. Right. That wasn't too bad. I say I do like this. I do like this level a lot. It's a, it's a nice, fun, like just like a proper platforming challenge, you know? Right. That's 120 stars. Okay. 
Here we go. Right. The bounce of fights that I still suck at. <laughs> right, where's the closest one? So bad at least. <laughs> Music's great though. I'm really bad at these fights. At least I don't have to get him up too fast for this. fights in Mario Party. <laughs> Near the amazing Technicolor Bowser. No, no coins? Out. Well, it's too close to the edge now. this last phase. Right, where's the closest one? I actually need to aim him. Just trying to figure out the best camera angle for this. Right. glad that you can, um... I was spinning the screen is, is decently fun, but I do like that you can just uh, hold the stick here, so you don't have to keep spinning it. <laughs> it makes it a bit less hard on the thumb, right. Oh! I was trying to get myself into the rhythm and then um, I messed up. <laughs> oh dear. Well, uh, now or never. It's now or never, I'm at one health. <laughs> I did say I'm bad at these. Alright. Again, I'm not necessarily saying they're hard, I'm just bad at them. Like, I'm genuinely really bad at these. Like, timing the swings just no one's ever been good at. Really? Oh! Come on. Uh, 
hell. Well... Closest one. Oh, I'm so bad at this. So uh, that one... That one's really easier to line up. Nope. Right, I'm probably dead now. Unless I can manage to grab him again without dying. closer so I can get behind you. Preferably not like that. Okay. Okay, we're a bit closer to a thing, so... Oh, okay, now I need to swing past on that. <laughs> Where's the closest thing? That one, probably. No! I'm so bad at aiming this! <laughs> I'm either, like, way too early or I'm, like, quite a bit too late. Always either way too early or quite a bit too late with those. Oh, got him! So long, Bowser. Right, that's it. That's Mario 64. Oh dear. I, again, genuinely, I always end up having trouble with that one. Like, aiming it is just not something I'm good at. You'd think, as a Sonic player, I should be good at aiming stuff like that, but... Whenever I have to, like, aim something for, like, swinging it around like that, I can never do it. I'm terrible at the hammer throw events in, like, the Mario and Sonic Olympic games. And there he is, up in up on the castle. Right, I'm overrunning by quite a bit, so obviously watch the credits. But uh, I'll quickly go say hi to Yoshi. But uh, I won't spend too long dwelling on the 100% stuff because we all know what it what 100% gets you in Mario 64. But just to show it off. But we'll do the credit. Obviously, we'll do the credits first. Oh dear. Um, I don't think it's really meant to be anything. I think it's just a big start is the end of the game. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Well, yeah, that was 100 percent Mario 64. Uh, I'm not doing that again for a long time. <laughs> uh, next time I play Mario 64, in my own time, obviously. It'll be uh, a more normal run, or a speed run. Well, I say speed run. A 16 star run, I'm not very fast at them. <laughs> that 
yeah, an absolutely fantastic piece of music for the credits. It is an absolute classic, you know, piece of music. Probably best music in the game. <laughs> it hits all the right notes that you want for a great credits theme. I mean, Mario games are almost always fantastic in the uh, credits department, the credits music department. Even New Super Mario Bros. 2, which, you know, most of its music is literally reused from New Super Mario Bros. Wii with extra bars in it. Um, it has a banger credits theme. It was like a proper remix. Yeah, I do like the sort of flyovers of all the levels. Getting to see them from angles you don't, you know, you might not get to see them in the actual gameplay. But yeah. Oh, some of these missions, I'm, I'm really I'm just like, never again, please. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> oh dear. I suppose also, if say you were playing through this game without knowing what all the levels were, like say if you just got 70 stars and beat Bowser, and it showed you like some levels that you've not even seen because like some of them are secrets, you know, I suppose that was a pretty like cool sort of thing. This port, I don't know if I can go back into the game or if I need to re like quit the game and go back in. Thinking about it. That's a genre of games to find. Oh, I don't have to reset the console. Or reset the game. Nice. Right, let's quickly go see Yoshi. And then <laughs> we're gonna call it there because it is late. Right, where's the wing cat? Oh no, it's up. It's up on the castle, isn't it? Yeah, genre of games to find. There were some 3D platformers, I think, that sort of beat Mario 64 to market, but uh, one of them was Bubsy 3D, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so. Alright. Yoshi. There we go. Mario! Oh, they. They corrected the typo in this version. It doesn't say it that really, you. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for playing Mario 64. Yep. And 99 one ups that are completely pointless. Because you've already beaten the game. Okay. And off he goes. See you in Super Mario 64 DS. You get like a special like animation for the um, thing as well, for the triple jump, but maybe that's when you don't need the wing cap. I mean, I guess flying around here is like neat. It's ultimately it doesn't do anything, but it's neat. <laughs> 
Yeah, I thought you I thought you meant to get like a new triple jump animation. A hundred percent as well. Or was that only DS? Okay, maybe it's maybe it's only when you're not having the wing cap. I think it has to be the longest lasting of them, doesn't it? <laughs> right. There we go. Right. <laughs> there we go. That's Mario 64. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, assuming I'm not, like, dying, um, Sonic X Shadow Generations has its advanced access launch on Tuesday. I'm going to be streaming, hopefully, afternoon and evening. Sonic Generations in the afternoon, Shadow in the evening. Again, assuming I'm not dying, I have, <laughs> I've been slowly feeling like I'm getting ill throughout the day, so... Mm. <laughs> so yeah. Want advanced access launch. But the, the, if you, when you, like, for pre-ordering the digital deluxe edition, you get it a few days early. That's part of why I did the pre-order, so that it would land on a stream day, so I could, like, stream it. I mean, even if it didn't land on stream day, I would have probably streamed it anyway. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Digital bias, SMH. Hey, physical copies have already leaked in the wild. Like, the, some physical copies have already been making their way around. Like, at least on Switch, so... Um, I'm having to avoid, trying to avoid Sonic stuff online now, because there are the leaks. Um, so yeah, anyways, I've been out on much longer than normal. I really need the toilet, so let's uh, finish up. I've accidentally closed my stream thing. Deck up. Dismiss. Uh, right. Thank you for watching once again. Hopefully, see you here on Tuesday, unless I'm dying.